हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अतुल आई हैव सिक्योर्ड ऑल इंडिया रैंक ऑफ 694 इन नीट पीजी 2025 इन माय फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट एंड फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर अ सब्सक्राइबर टू दिस चैनल देन यू माइट बी नोइंग दैट आई एम आल्सो प्लानिंग टू गिव आईएनआईसीटी नवंबर 2025 एंड सिंस द काउंसलिंग ऑफ नीट पीजी 25 हैज ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड लेट सो इट बिकम्स ऑल द मोर रीजनेबल टू अटेम्प्ट द आईएनआईसीटी नवंबर एग्जाम एंड यू माइट आल्सो बी नोइंग दैट आई शेयर माय प्रिपरेशन जर्नी ऑफ आईएनआईसीटी नवंबर 2025 अटेम्प्ट ऑन दिस YouTube चैनल एंड सो दैट्स व्हाट आई विल बी डूइंग टुडे आल्सो so in my last video i had talked about what to study in one week before attempting the inict mock test by mero so yes there was inict national mock test and i also attempted it and as i always do i will share what happened uh, what was my score and what was my percentile and all but the thing is that this time's score is not worth sharing but since i honestly share my preparation journey on this youtube channel so i i will honestly show what happened i will also talk about what mistakes i did and why it uh, went down as it did so yes let's begin so you can see that my score was 138 correct 60 incorrect two skipped percentile was 95.08 and then uh, the rank was 1053 out of 21385 candidates so it was pretty bad considering my uh, last two inict mocks of marrow it was pretty bad definitely so let's before analyzing why it happened like this first i would like to talk about what happened in the last two gts so in the grand test 3 inict pattern as you can see on the screen which i took on 6th of october my uh, uh, number of correct were 146 wrong 54 98.76 percentile and 133rd rank out of 10646 and then the grand test 1 inict pattern which i attempted on 8th of september 2025 there uh, the score was 143 correct 57 wrong and 99.25 percentile and again the rank was 133 out of 17540 candidates so as you can see that this score deteriorated significantly this time the percentile also uh, deteriorated significantly so why did it happen so i analyzed the whole situation and i also analyzed and uh, reviewed the whole paper in 3 hours that is uh, from 2 pm to 5 pm and then i came up with certain reasons so what happened so i found out that the revision part was lacking in my last video i had talked about how to use btr and how to revise the whole btr in 7 days and it was definitely possible to do it okay but i was unable to follow my own advice but there were a lot of backlogs and many things i couldn't complete and one of the major reasons for that was festivities which came that is it was uh, the uh, was diwali time it was after 2 years that i was uh, in my home for diwali in 2023 it was the final prof exams because of which i couldn't come to and in 2024 since it was the last year in the college so internship was going on so i wanted to celebrate uh, diwali in the campus itself with my friends and all so yes after 2 years i was at home for diwali and it was not a uh, you know grim situation it was happy situation only since i had secured a pretty decent rank in uh, neat pg 2025 so i had to celebrate diwali properly with happiness so i made sure that this diwali does not get mundane and i enjoy a lot so yes and so i spent a considerable amount of time with my family and friends here due to this i was not able to study straight for i think 3 to 4 days out of these 7 days so yes i was unable to complete a heavy chunk of my target that is why when i analyzed the paper properly when i reviewed the paper properly i found out that my conceptual questions were mostly correct okay the conceptual questions which were asked were mostly correct and main fault was there in factual questions there were many factual questions which went wrong so yes i could have done these factual questions correct had i revised btr and had i followed my own advice but i guess celebrating diwali with family was also necessary so having said that i also think that one of the major reasons why this happened was which i call the good rank effect that when we get a, a good rank for example uh, i got a good rank in each pg 2025 i and many of the aspirants i think um, might be a little bit relaxed because uh, when we had not cracked the examination then there was a lot of pressure we were on our toes and we were uh, giving everything which we had we were working very hard for our examination but once we get a good rank the preparation slows down considerably for example so what i also did during this period after neat pg was that i watched a lot of uh, movies and web series so for example i watched uh, dexter series all eight seasons of the main and then again there were two more seasons i watched them also uh, apart from that i also watched many other series and movies so yes these things because i was relaxed these kinds of things i couldn't have imagined doing before neat pg 2025 but this is what i call the good rank effect when we get relaxed when we take our preparation casually 
because we have a seat or a rank to fall back on if anything goes bad so yeah that's it you know there would be many people many toppers who would be giving their all for ini ct november also but i think i am not such kind of a person who, who was willing to give all for the upcoming exam because a sense of tiredness a sense of fatigue also sets in and i think i am not alone in this and many people are also facing the same situation which i am facing at least uh, i know one of my friends also who has secured a similar rank as me and he, this test i also asked him how he performed in this test then he also secured almost the same marks his uh, score was 134 correct okay 134 correct was his score in this inict mock and he is uh, he secured similar rank as mine so yes i think i am not alone in this situation and there uh, other aspirants are also facing the same situation when they are unable to focus for inict november so very less time is left now for inict and uh, i think it's only 17 days left so yes still a lot can be done i would try to study more and i would try to focus more and i would try to give it my all but let's see if that would be possible and i would be able to do it or not only time will tell talking about the difficulty level of uh, this test i would say that it was moderate to difficult only i found it moderate to difficult many of you might not have found it that way if you would have revised properly so yes revision is the key in this mock the percentile is 95.08 percentile and so i'm hopeful that it might increase and yes there is still some time left still around uh, 17 days are left and many things can be done in 17 days i'm sure of it if one can put his or her heart completely into the studies then it is definitely possible to achieve a lot in the 17 days considering the level of preparation i am currently at a lot can be done a lot can be revised in 17 days and i am hopeful of that and uh, i want to give a message to you also that you should also be hopeful of your preparation because hope is what matters it changes percentiles it changes your performance and last days preparations also matter a lot because many things which you study in the last days and revise and refresh in your memory in the last days come in the main exam also yes so we must not lose our hope till the final battle we must fight till the last moment and then we will surely succeed and so yeah this is what happened many people were asking how your mock went and all so yeah this is how my mock went so this is all friends so if you liked the video then like share and subscribe the channel for more videos regarding neat pg and inict preparation thanks for watching